Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of the COM2095. It has certainly been a, an incredible week from where we started on Monday leading up to election day to today where we are on the cusp of a potential of a new president of the United States. Uh, there are a lot of things happening. There's a lot of discourse going on in the public, both on social media, on television, radio, satellite, uh, digital media. All of these things are leading to us talking about what's been going on in the world when it comes to our political uh, process. Sure, there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of good information out there. But what I want to relate it to and what you've been talking about and what you've seen in my lecture this week and been reading as far as assignments and will be discussing in our discussion post is the entertainment persuasion, public discourse, and public opinion. Now, a lot of what I talked about in the lecture part of this week that you may have already seen is about how entertainment helps to inform us and maybe give us a better opinion of something. For example, if you watch the show Blue Bloods on CBS, that is giving you a better opinion of the NYPD or police in general. They're there to do their job. Sure, they may need to do something to get a, a, a suspect to talk, but a lot of what is in there are, you know, does happen for many police departments. Yes, police are not exactly in the positive light right now due to things that have happened in the last year and in the past. But if you watch that show, what they try to do is they try to put police in a positive light so that way you understand that not all police are bad. And if they do their job the right way, they end up finding the, the perp or the, the suspect and put him in jail. The same thing goes with Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy is a drama. It's a medical drama. A lot of things that happen in there are real life. There are surgeries that have happened. There are events that do happen in certain hospitals. But what it's meant to do is raise awareness around a topic. You will see in there, the and when you if you haven't watched the lecture or you have already, you will hear me talk about the Grey's Anatomy episode of, around a rape victim. That episode was an incredibly impactful one, and it helped to educate viewers about what happens and what you should do if you happen to be raped or sexually assaulted. It was important because the amount of people that learned more about RAIN, the, uh, the Sexual Assault Activist Network, and it gave you an idea of what you need to do should you be raped and where you should go, what you should be doing. It put people in the shoes of that assault victim. That is education or entertainment persuasion. And from that perspective, that's where I bring it to what's happening right now in our country with the election. Have we seen the networks that have been talking about everything about votes and giving opinions? Has that swayed how you thought about what our political process is like? Have the late night shows that traditionally will criticize the president, current President Trump, does that make you feel more comfortable to criticize or does it give you a feeling of uneasiness that's where the entertainment persuasion comes in not to say that the late night hosts don't have a right to criticize the president or any official or any person but does that affect our overall process of what we're doing in this country did how things went on on one side did it help to affect either negatively or positively, what happened in this election. I could talk all about what news networks are doing. We've talked about that as well. That's something totally different. I'm talking about here, how do you feel about what our entertainment options are? How do you feel about there being late night shows that will criticize political officials? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? That's something I want you to talk about when, we, when you're in your discussion this week. Take a listen to this. Give me your opinion. Do late night shows, do we have too much of a disrespect for politicians? Have they brought it on themselves or as Hollywood or entertainment in some way gave us uh, free reign to criticize those in Washington, D.C.? I'm looking forward to your opinions. And as always, if you ever have any questions, you know where to reach me.